All right. Welcome, everybody. So first of all, I just wanted to um, welcome you all to the, the webinar on retaining and recruiting uh, agents, um, the secret to long-term profitability in real estate. And I wanted to uh, introduce you to uh, Greg Herter, who I'm thrilled to have here uh, on our webinar. Greg is the, uh, is the creator and founder of Hobbs Herter Advertising, which back in the 80s and 90s was the, the top um, literally worldwide for, for real estate um, marketing and advertising um, consulting agency. He's the actual creator of the original 8x8 that's in our MREA book uh, that we refer to today. So I'm excited to have Greg here because he's going to share with us from all of his, his data, his research, uh, his information over the years, um, 33 Touch, all of that. What are some of the great um, retention um, marketing type of touches? What are the things to do as leaders to, to help retain our agents? We're all under attack with our competitors right now, um, you know, with, with recruiting, them recruiting our agents and so on. So I wanted him to share some thoughts, some tips with his years of experience. Greg also, as you can see, has trained over 100,000 agents. Uh, he's been mentored by Jim Rohn. Um, he's a college professor. Um, and, you know, more importantly, he's been a team leader, a productivity coach. And so he's a wealth of knowledge. And I wanted him just to share some of those things with you. Myself, most of you know me, my background, i been MAPS coach, um, multiple market center owner. Um, I specialize and focus on recruiting with the Rockstar Recruiting Training Program and, and all those things. Well, without further ado, let me turn it over to Greg. Greg, share with us some great tips and strategies. All right. Well, thank you, Rich. It is a pleasure to be here, and I'm glad to have you guys here. And I really want to make this as valuable as possible. So I want to share with you a couple of philosophical or approaches that I think will really help your mindset going forward to retain and keep your agents actively engaged. Now, Rich is the expert at recruiting, and, and I'm sure you've taken his Rockstar recruiting course. And I want to talk a little bit about what retention is. So if we can go to the next slide. And remember that retention sometimes gets second shrift, but it's much cheaper to keep an existing agent than it is to recruit a new one. How many of you just raise your hand or say hi that have actually seen agents walk out of your office that went somewhere else and then succeeded higher at a different company. Anybody besides me? The rest of you liars. See, we, we've got to remember that it's we've got to recruit or retain first. And go to the next one. And here's what I want you to know. Your leadership will judge, be judged as great only when it touches your agents on an emotional level that is meaningly personal, that is personally meaningful to that agent. And what we think is important is not nearly as what they think is important. And so I want you to start adopting this retention first mindset. You've got to treat your current agents like they're your most important clients. And don't ever forget that. And here's one of the things I found. If you're constantly making a big deal about the people that you're bringing into the office, and that's very easy to do. You know, you're excited because as a team leader, your job is to recruit. You're excited because you've accomplished your goal and you bring somebody new in and you introduce them to people. It oftentimes makes existing people feel like they aren't that important. And this is one of the lessons I learned at Hobbs Order Advertising because I was working with agents all over the United States from all kinds of different companies. And agents would call me and say, Greg, I'm thinking about losing, leaving companies, my moving companies. I, I'd always say, well, why? You know that moving companies is always going to be costly for your productivity in the short term. And they would always say, well, my broker did something that I just can't live with. And most of the time they left for irrational reasons. And it's important to understand that 
then you need to understand that retention is something that is nonstop. Once you get somebody in, if you ever stop recruiting to them, you will lose them. And so understand that even for the agents that are in your office, you need to continually keep recruiting them in that every day they stay there, it's an ongoing effort and you need to market yourself to those agents constantly and continuously. I know that many of you have told your agents, listen, reach out to your past clients, stay in touch with your sphere of influence, just be in front of them on a regular basis. And yet that's what you have to do to retain agents. Now the key is to keep them physically connected to you. Give them physical evidence that you care about them. And here's the funny thing. Most of you care deeply about your agents, but if you interviewed them, a lot of them wouldn't feel that way. I want you to learn from Disneyland. If you study Disney, it's interesting how they've evolved over the years. Way back when Disney first opened, one of the biggest problems with Disneyland was their lines. They basically had people walk up to the line and it was sort of like a giant big V. And people would sort of press in and Disney quickly realized that there was a problem with how they were doing it. So they started studying line behavior. And what they found is that if people had to wait for more than 15 minutes, they started getting irritable. So Disney tried to figure out how can we do this because we're always gonna have to make them wait longer than 15 minutes. And it was interesting, they started trying different things and what they found first of all was that the longer they made the line, the faster the line moved because they were getting feedback, you were making progress. And so they started actually walking people away from the entrance to the rides, having to go back and forth so they got physical feedback that they were actually making progress. They felt like they were making progress even when they were moving further away from the beginning of the ride. They also found that by telling them an expectation of how long it was gonna take, they felt better about the process. And it's amazing when we look at it now, it seems so simplistic. Having people walk in long, skinny lines, walking away from it, giving them an estimate of what they could expect seems very simplistic, and yet it's incredibly effective. And we see this over and over again in many in different industries. And I, I have a question for you. What are you doing to set the expectations of your agents, and how are you communicating to them that you care and value them? Now, what are the most Amazing thing is, is that unless your agents feel like you're adding value to their business every day, they won't feel like they're getting a fair deal, no matter how much real value you bring to them. No matter what your commission splits are, no matter what you do, understand that. It's, do I feel like this person is bringing value? And this is a totally subjective thing. So when somebody comes to you with a problem issue, ask questions. And if you help somebody at the end to say, hey, was that helpful for you? And it's interesting, the research, when you ask these types of questions, was this helpful? Was this valuable? What did you think of this? People feel like they're getting more value from it. In fact, it increases their estimation of the value you're bringing by between 70 and 80%. Then if you ask questions about their kids, their spouse, they feel like, oh, this person cares. And it's those little things that actually retain so much power. And you've got to get in the habit of writing down things as you're walking and talking, you're on the phone with agents, jot down the key questions that you're going to ask them later. A journal is the way to do this. Just keep a notepad, a journal, so that you can write things down. Carry it around with you and write down the conversations. Then I want you to do simple little things. Send a welcome and thank you letter to the spouse of every agent who joins your office. Just, this is one of the most powerful things and some of the most successful leaders out there have done this so well. 
And it's funny because when you get the spouse on your side, your agents can't complain at home about you. Then I want you to send every agent in your office at least one handwritten card to their home at least every other month. Now, sometimes team leaders will tell me, Greg, that seems overwhelming to me. I, you know, I've got 500 agents in my office, but it's really not that hard. What you need to do is have a simple system. And if you do this right, it should take you about a minute a card to actually get this done. It's not that hard. Go to the next one. So this is a card that I want you to carry around with you. And notice it's a blank card. Now, it should have stamps on it. And all you have to do is put an address and write a quick note. And it's just a simple note, handwritten in there. So it can be just a simple short note. Hey, Tom, great job on closing 1664 via Caladia. Hope you did a great job getting it closed. Love your hard work. Now, I want you to think about it. You're mailing this home, so your agent is seeing that, but who else is seeing this? That's right, their spouse. And their spouse is now saying, oh, you know, that leader cares about my spouse. And if they come home and complain, now you have an advocate in their spouse. And this is so subtle. It's one of those simple little things. It's like long lines at Disneyland. And here's the funny thing. It's so powerful. And yet it's so easy to not do. And I found that it's that simple little difference that makes a difference. So just start writing these out and they just need to be short, quick things. Don't make them overcomplicated. Only take a minute or two. Thanks for helping out today, teaching John how to do a CMA. It's appreciated. Little, little things like that. Have some of this. And if you send out 10 cards a day, it will take you 15 minutes. It'll take to touch 200 agents a month. That's 2,400 positive touches a year to your agents and their spouses. That is incredibly powerful. It will retain those people like never before. And I want you to realize how simple that is, and yet it's so incredibly powerful. Then, at least twice a year, I want you to send the spouse of your agents a handwritten postcard. It can be a simple little message like this one that says, hey, Nancy, just want to let you know how much we love your husband, John. Thanks for sharing him with us. Tell Jennifer and Zach they should be very proud of their dad. Now, you do need to take a little bit of time to write these to your spouse because you need to mention their kids, something about them. But here's what I found. People that do this for just a month or two don't get that much benefit from it. But if you will send out little notes like this consistently for six months, it will change the whole culture in your office. Because this is demonstrating culture and not talking about culture. Now, here's the other key. Never tell people this is what you're doing because they will be seeing what you're doing. And if you're doing this consistently, it will increase the impact of every other activity that you do. I mean, it truly, it will raise the impact of everything else you do. Now, one of the best ways to recruit agents is to increase the productivity of your existing agents. If you develop a reputation for helping agents succeed at a higher level, you will be able to recruit much more effectively. Now, that's what the quantum growth system is really all about, helping increase the productivity of your newer agents. And we know that increasing productivity sounds simple, but it's much harder to do. And so what I want you to do is go to your new agents that you're recruiting or the new agents that you've recently recruited and have them go check out the quantum growth school. This is a website. This is not the Quantum Growth System website. This is the Quantum Growth School website. These work together. You just say, hey, go check out the Quantum Growth School. And if they go check it out, what they'll see is this. 
and go to the next page. And there's a little website that talks about, gosh, what would it be like if you had daily training every day for the next 90 days? And it goes through, and if you go to the next screen, you'll see that it talks about this program and what they're gonna get out of it and basically give them training. And it says, listen, this training costs $1,200. It's a year long. And if you don't generate a transaction in the first 90 days of doing it, if you do every bit of your homework, we'll not only refund your $1,200 tuition, we'll give you $1,000 in cash back. And when agents read this, they say, oh my goodness, this is something I want. And now you can go to them and say, listen, if you join the office, we'll pay your tuition for you. And now, because you're enrolled in the quantum growth system, remember that you can spend, send as many agents as you want to through the program for just $3.99 a month. This makes it incredibly valuable. And now you've taken all the pressure off of your training staff so that you can work effectively at helping them actually get into production. Plus, we'll give you a 30-day free trial. Ask a number of agents, gosh, would you test this program out for me? And we will give you a 30-day free trial to see if it works for you and your office and see if we can't increase their productivity. I'd love to open it up to questions, anything you have, if there are any. So, so um, just to kind of bring this full circle, I know we went through this pretty quickly. So uh, remember guys that, that retention, which we're all being attacked right now by the competitors, right? This is retention season as much as a recruiting season, that retention is about fun, it's about recognition, and it's about productivity. Those would be the three things you want to write down. So fun. Are, are your agents having fun in the office? It's been a challenging, you know, last year plus with the COVID and, and the culture and, and all that stuff with people, you know, working out of their homes. How are you bringing the fun back? How are you recognizing them? Greg shared a, shared a bunch of different ways to recognize them and to bring their families involved, get their families involved and notes uh, and, and things like that. Are you recognizing agents for little things, helping other agents, participating, not just your top producers for production, but how are you recognizing people? They want to be recognized. And then lastly, what he just talked about, productivity. At the end of the day, if agents aren't making money, they're going to leave, right? Take a look at your attrition, right? Just take a look at your numbers, your net, right? You brought in 100 people, you netted 20, okay? So why are the people leaving, right? Are they having fun? Are they, are they um, being recognized? And are they productive? And, and most times it comes down to the productivity piece, right? And, and in the uh, environment we're in, or we have been in with COVID, where we've lost one of our best value propositions, which is our, our environment, the KW environment and that culture, because people weren't coming into the office, we became vulnerable. And if, and if production is, is stagnant for your agents or it's not growing and somebody else is calling them and saying, hey, come over here, it's cheaper. Come over here, we have this. Because they have hope, right? That they don't want us to fail, you're vulnerable with them. So take a look at what your productivity systems are and are they really working? And your retention numbers is one way to look at if it's really working. One of the things that, that, that I um, meant to mention at the beginning of, of the webinar here is Greg is the, uh, the author, okay, the author of the original 33 touch program that's in the MREA book. Remember he had um, a, a marketing and advertising company for real estate agents. that was a worldwide company that some of these things with the note cards and these different tips that he was sharing is, is what this whole 33 touch evolved into. And so think about it, keep it simple. How are you touching your people? How are you recognizing them? How are you connecting with your people? And are your people growing? On the productivity piece with the quantum growth system that, that he offers, it's a, it's a uh, two-pronged uh, program. It's a new agent program for the first 90 days of a new agent's life. Five days a week, they're going to have an assignment with activities that they do. 
and they can do it at their, their own speed. I mean, if they want to do it in the middle of the night, they want to do it on a weekend, they can do that. And it doesn't tax you as having to train them at, you know, 9 a.m. on a Tuesday and they can't make it. It's a great supplement to your productivity coaching. It's a great supplement to the training calendar you already have. And then there's also a mid-tier level um, curriculum that's for those people that are below, you know, even cappers, but below cappers, that, that middle that we're losing right now in our company, that middle group that's stagnant, great curriculum on mindset and, and uh, you know, um, branding and marketing and those types of things. So there's a, it's a whole curriculum that every agent in your office can participate in for one price of $3.99 a month with a 30-day free, free trial. So the agents don't have to pay for it. It doesn't matter how many people you have. It's a great way to keep them connected. One of the things that, that I'm seeing personally in my market centers is the agents that are in licensing school, especially my offices in California, the licensing process takes so long that we're losing people to the competition in the licensing school because more people are recruiting that through that group right now. And what we can do is we can now connect them to the quantum growth system program so they're getting training while they're in school waiting for their license and their test date and those types of things. They're not going to do real estate activities because they can't do that legally, but they can start putting together their database. They're learning, learning scripts. They're understanding the listing presentation. Um, they're, they're getting that mindset training, all of that stuff that is going to accelerate the learning curve. So they hit the ground running. They can make money quicker, which means they're going to, they're going to stay in the business longer. And now, they're unrecruitable while they're in school. So there's various different ways to use education and training for retention and for recruiting. And right now, more than ever in our tight inventory market, where agents, you know, are, are, are challenged with, you know, multiple offers and, and losing out with their buyers on these, on these multiple offer situations and not having enough inventory, education and training is critical and people are looking for that. And we have to go back to our core values and that is we're an educational training company at Keller Williams and this changing market, challenging market, we have to go back and, and, and let them know we have solutions with training and education because that's how we're gonna differentiate ourselves. So just some, some thoughts from me on, on how I'm using this program and some thoughts on retention and recruiting as well. Anybody have any, any questions that, um, that you want to, to ask or anything that you would like to contribute or add uh, in our conversation? I, I know there's some, some great people on the line that uh, have been very successful with recruiting and retention. Anybody have any, any questions or, or thoughts that you'd like to share with the group? And remember, the more interactive you are, the more interactive your agents will be in the coming week. Yes, for sure. <laughs> and then part of the, the, this program also what you what you do, Greg, is you do a, a live uh, mastermind on Tuesdays, where all the agents can come together and and you're doing a, a mastermind, sharing some thoughts, getting wins, successes. So there's that live interaction as well. So uh, I would love to get some questions, feedback here. I remember that bull law that says something like, "How you participate in here is how you participate." everywhere yes well i'll talk because i know how uncomfortable it is to be on a zoom call and no one talks so <laughs> all right um i'm the team leader uh boston northwest area i am a huge fat fan of letters um i don't write as many as i should and what's interesting is i have my agents letters that they write to me but I don't write as many letters to my own agents. I write letters to the Cobrokes. I write letters to all these people. I'm like, I'm not writing them to my own agents. So that was just a really, the number's intimidating, not going to lie. Um, but I love that idea. So here's the key. Letters actually take a long time because you've got to actually print it out, put it in an envelope. That's why the agents, the, the, the leaders that do this most consistently always use a postcard. I cannot stress value. You will send out so many, and the impact is virtually the same because everybody gets to see it as well. So get postcards and send them out. Just make it easy on yourself. 
So quick question, do you have different um, postcards? Because if you're sending them out every other month, do you have like six postcards that you use? Or do you so just you send out two postcards? postcards that I used. One of them just had thank you on it. I have one that says congratulations. And then I have a blank one. Everything else is always the same, but I just write little notes on them and send them out all the time. That's, that's what makes it work. Don't get too complicated with coming up with it. And it's, it's not the message that matters nearly as much as you sent them something and you were thinking of them. I mean, you can, you can say, you know, Sally, great job, love your energy and sign your name and send it. And that will have just as much meaning to people as really taking the time to really write a complicated letter. It's just that little bit of effort to recognize people and send it to their home because I cannot stress the value of having their spouse seeing you support their spouse. And, and in our, you know, remember our, this is our culture. I know that we're, most of us aren't doing this, but this is our culture of who we are. Our competition, if we're not doing it, you know, our competition doesn't do it. And with some of the competitors like EXP and this kind of thing, where there's really no environment, we've got to get back to this kind of stuff where we're connecting with our people and we're um, recognizing our people and we're touching our people. It's so important uh, that we to, to fight what's going on is that we have to bring our culture back. And I know it's been difficult, you know, kind of being displaced. And this is a super simple way to do it. And one thing I do want you to know is a lot of people get freaked out. They think they can do this by email and they can't. Email does not have nearly the same impact. And I, I, I see so many people relying so heavily on email and it's just not the same. Other questions? So, so Rich, you'll love this. I actually had a broker call me and say, Amanda, if I see your note card on one more of my agent's desk, I'm going to die. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> Good, job. Good, job. Good job. Remember, conversation equals connection. So we've got to communicate and notes is communicating, right? And, and, and we need to figure out how to weigh as busy as you all are, how to do more of that. Right I mean, it, and those little cards can work so well for sending out a little message to other agents as well. Hey, John, love the fact you're doing a transaction with my agent. If you need help, call me. You will find that you will send out more of those and stay in touch with co-brokers on the other side of a transaction because you can do it quickly and easily versus having to call them. Even if you have somebody that's writing the messages for you on your team, your Dofi or whoever you can get to, let me tell you that will have a huge impact for you. So here's my question. Who's committed yeah. to sending out 10 postcards a day for at least two weeks? Oh, you guys are killing me. See, <clears throat> Now I know how you guys feel when you're telling your agents to go and prospect. <laughs> Other questions? Free consulting time. Challenges you're having with retention, recruiting, any, anything at all. Systems that you have, things that you're doing that have been beneficial that you can share with the group, anything. All right, so I have a question. How many found this at least valuable today? All right, a few of you. How many are not gonna raise your hand no matter what I say? All right, <laughs> I see some of you. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know about you, but one of my pet peeves is people then jump on a Zoom and leave their, their camera off because that means they really aren't engaged. But Colleen, I do appreciate that you raised your hand. <laughs> all right all right guys we'll send out a copy of the recording thanks for your participation today have a great weekend if we can do anything for you let us know there you go hey troy hey and troy if you have any questions feel free to give me a call email me um i think my contact information is is there somewhere um yep. but i'm easy to get a hold of and we'd love to help you in growing your office and 
helping you succeed in the year ahead. So thank you and have a great day. Thanks guys. Thank you. Hi, Amanda.